How wonderful for all you people today tuning into Smash Mouth. We're not going to analyze an iconic song, I'm a Believer, from the Monkees that was covered by Smash Mouth. We are going just to thank them for the music. They've recently broke up, it was announced, and it's so sad that they broke up because I was a huge fan of their music for a very long time. This is basically a new channel. And I was sorting out so many bands that I wanted to say thank you, that I was remembering new up and coming acts I promised to feature. And I got round to a song and I said, I still haven't done this. And just as I was going to download it, boom, I'm hit with the music. They have broken up. But I'm featuring one of their iconic hits. They did a cover, as I said, for the Monkey song, I'm a Believer. And it was linked to Shrek. I've done a special thumbnail coming from the video in strips. I've heard this song so many times. I grew up with this song. There's no point in analyzing lyrics to a song that I'm so familiar with. They'll come up in your language, go to the settings, press auto translate, and in any language, they will come up for you. They come with the video. How wonderful for me, a lot of work. I am just glad that I can get around to saying Smash Mouth, I laughed a lot when the video came out the first time. I'm going to really savour this because I was a big fan of the Monkees music growing up due to my elder brother always playing that kind of music. And yours since Shrek. I'm a, I'm a huge Shrekie, I have to say. And I'm still laughing because I've got a great memory of Shrek taking my two nephews who are now happily married when they were younger to the cinema here in Dublin and they were sitting eating their popcorn watching Shrek and I the donkey I remember going outside for a while to speak to a friend and there was a donkey episode where he was are we nearly there yet are we nearly there yet are we nearly there yet but in between all I could hear was the roars of my nephew Kieran and Connell laughing and when I came back, the popcorn was everywhere and they looked at me with red faces. And little Joe, who was always the quietest of my three nephews, of my elder sister's children, just looking at me. And I sat and the people behind had laughed so hard because of them looking at the film and reacting the way they were. So great memories of a memory within a memory. And let's get going with a song that we've all got memories of, I'm a believer. And you'll see where my thumbnail comes from. And then stay around in tribute to Smash Mouth. And if you don't really know them that well, just let me give you a little bit of bio on them. They deserve to be remembered. If you haven't, if you've got a, a pulse for music, you're going to love this. You really are. Let's take it away, enjoy the moment, and then a bit of facts and figures. Thank you for the music at the end. I'll give you the reason why they broke up. A little bit of controversy came in the last couple of months, but I'll also put my view about that. First, the music. Take it away. I'm a believer. Smash Mouth. I thought love was only true in fairy tales. Meant for someone else, but not for me. Love was out to get me. you 
You dropped your keys back there. Oh, thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you yeah. Steve from Smash Mouth? Yeah, I am. Really? Yeah. Do you think I could get your number or something? No, I gotta go. I'm sorry. Thanks. thanks. Wait, please? I love you. Uh, we all love you too, Steve from Smash Mouth. Now the reason they broke up, they, they broke up because of Steve's continuous health problems. Whatever they are, my best, best thoughts and wishes are with you, Steve. You brought millions of people. For this reason alone, fantastic videos. And yes, I chose the one that was personal to me, but a lot of people would do that on a reaction channel. They wouldn't just pick a popular one because it's going to get so many views. Even if there was only one view for this, I'd be so happy, simply because somebody watched it and shared the moment with, with me. Steve, there was an incident at a concert re recently where you did a Nazi salute and you were th threatening the crowd and said you were going to do things to members of the family. Or There's so many distortions out there about what happened that most people who would follow Smash Mouth would love to have been at that concert to see that happen because not because of the demise of somebody that was iconic, simply because they would be like, what? They would share that moment and it would be a moment of, hey boy, we're behind you. Don't do this to yourself. Don't leave this way because you can have a 40 year career in the music business. And if you do something like that, it will stay in the minds of everybody. I give you an example, Harry from the Royal Family who's now in America, trying to make a few bucks with his wife and bad-mouthing the whole of the royal family and yet saying he praises his mother, but at the same time, hey, wasn't his mother a member of the royal family? But there you go. And he wore a Nazi thing at a party and he was remembered for that one association to the Nazi party with the Nazi sign it's incredible. If you did a Nazi salute, that's going to stand out now, Steve. And a lot of people, unlike me, but a lot of other people will say he crashed. You think of Britney Spears. Britney Spears, wonderful career, absolutely iconic woman. Did a lot for a lot of people, gave a lot of hope to young girls. And she was the cleaner image when she was in the pop business going through it with millions of girls following her wanting to be like her and then suddenly she had a mental collapse. I think after recent reports with her father controlling her so much in her life, I'm not surprised she did. It now makes sense when you go back as to why she got to that point. Anyway, that's my personal view. Anyway, we go back to Steve. That instant with Brittany led to her notoriously smashing a journalist's car with an umbrella, she, shaving her hair. She was noted for that. After all she's done for the music industry, people still recall that. With Harry, he's become, I don't know what he's become in the royal family, but people in England still look at him as a Nazi lover because he did this, he had the Nazi thing on his shoulder. I just, look at your career and think what a wonderful career is it true and then you look at president trump let's do one last example you look at president trump and what is he noted for more than anything that he did or didn't do in his career for going to hate not haiti some earthquake situation and throwing toilet rolls in at the back at people when the supplies were arriving and i just remember going Oh God, people are going, forget everything he's ever done, bad or good, for or against him, he's going to be, he so degraded the moment and the situation and the people by getting toilet rolls and throwing them at the back to everybody that was around here, take them, you'll need them. I thought his arse needs to be wiped with his own tongue for what he said that day. It's long enough, but again, that's my opinion. But when it comes to my opinion about Smash Mouth, it's please forgive him. Steve gave so much. Um, everybody forgave Britney. Everybody forgave Trump. Everybody forgave 
Harry, we need to forgive Steve. He's got health problems. We don't know what they are. People are making assumptions straight away. It's mental. We don't know if it's mental, everybody. We don't. But we're in such a flickety, ickety, pickety social media situation that two minutes of a line saying Steve has a mental breakdown, everybody around the world is so interlinked that they would say, oh, Steve had a mental breakdown. We don't know what happened at the concert, what caused that moment of craziness. And I call it a mental lapse of craziness. And we're all entitled to that. When you're doing a world tour, when you've given so much of your life to people, you will have your lapses. I have a lapse once a week, for God's sake. But it's just unfortunate that when you're in the public eye and it's in the public eye and it happens to have a Nazi element, that's when people will just wipe his career, push his career, sorry, to the side and just blaspheme him for a moment of humanness. Think about that for a minute. He was human. He had a human moment of craziness. It can never be explained, but it can be forgiven. If we can forgive so many people for so many different things in this lifetime, even your own family, your own friends, situations, don't prejudge poor Steve. We don't know what the situation is with itself. We don't. After all you've given us, Steve, you're entitled to have many lapses. But as long as you recover, because that's what every fan would want for you. And I want it for you. Because I'm a believer in you Steve that you'll get your act together like Brittany I'm not going to say Harry because he's become a different kettle of fish since his mouth and his Megan over the royal family I'm not a royalist I'm not a racist I'm not an ageist I'm not nothing but I am a believer in if you come from privileged background and your mother was royal, why would you be condemning them is where I'm coming from with him. But we also forgave Trump for throwing toilet rolls at people in a time of an earthquake situation. And all over the world, we, we get him seen doing stupid things like that. Everybody has a stupid moment. Steve's entitled to that. And we need to go on those websites and say, hey, how dare you? We don't know what the issue is. But he gave us so much happiness. I hope you enjoyed the three minutes of happiness he gave you. I hope your thoughts are with him. Steve though with me thank you thank you thank you for the music best of wishes love all the way from Ireland to you to get better from whatever situation you're in I hope you do like all the others I've mentioned I hope you've enjoyed it I really have I got into that video special thumbnail if you like please like please comment and if there's any Smash Mouth fans out there join me on board I'm a new growing channel from Ireland and I'm looking like everybody else subscribers to make my channel grow and grow because I'm a believer in myself I hope you are too Steve because everybody else believes in you